Look at the size of this guy. Holy crap! Oh my god. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of my Skyrim VR Let's Play on Oculus Rift. I've changed a few things, uh, most notably, let's see here, I got rid of VR Body. Now, VR Body was a great mod, no real complaints about it, except VR Inverse Kinematics, which I had on top of it, has released an update and it is quite smooth. It is a very, very good time. Uh, seems to be an improvement a little bit. Um, yeah, not much else to say about that. It's a, it's a good time. But here we are. It's morning, and here we are. Yeah, look at that. That's something else, huh? That is something else. Kind of freaky. All right. So. <clears throat> What the plan is now is to get some food. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Because we're going to be hungry. A little thirsty, too. All right. few things I want to get out of the way. One is letting the Jarl know about the dragon attack. Ah, there we go. We are. We are hydrated. I want to do that, but My also... Favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. Not today, friend. So, what I want to do is I want to gather as many alchemy ingredients as I can. Now, the reason I'm doing that is like I said in my previous episode is I want to get some money we need some cash flow we need to be able to hire a follower maybe buy some cool gear that will be easier to do with money now easiest way to earn money early game is by picking up some blue mountain flowers and blue butterfly wings and you can find those in abundance outside of Whiterun. Come to chat with an old woman. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Do your good deed for the day. Not today, sweetheart. All right. So it's a beautiful day, unless the weather changes uh, suddenly, which I hope it doesn't. Uh, we'll be able to do a quick run around here and uh, grab some alchemy ingredients. Now, for the sake of things, I'll uh, I'll edit it to speed up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yoink. Haha. <laughs> Come here. Yes. Whoa. It's a jackal. That's new. Whew. Yoink. Morning. I can handle this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. Oh yeah. Hello. Yoink. And yoink. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. And another one. Yep. I'll take that. So many butterflies. Oh, there's some trouble. A wild horse. Getting chased. Hey! <laughs> That's the end of that. Alright. Ooh, another one. Yes. Take some of these. Look at the size of this guy. Holy crap! Oh my god. Oh 
What the hell? I've never been attacked by one of these things before. So I installed a wildlife overhaul mod. I'll be sure to link it in the description, but it adds a lot of a lot of new creatures, and I'm not uh, always prepared for what they do or how they act. So lesson learned. Don't approach giant elk looking thing. <laughs> Take that. So now that I've gathered the ingredients. You have but to ask. Hi. So now that I've gathered the ingredients that I uh I need, let's begin. So by combining blue mountain flowers with blue butterfly wings. I create a potion with a lot of effects. Damage magicka regen, fortify conjuration. Put those two together, that's that's a high value potion. Now of course concoction. But keep trying new things. Alchemy rewards inquisitive minds. It sure does. Now I'm gonna create a whole bunch of these. And that's gonna level me up. So let's do that. For the sake of staying alive, I'm going to uh, put as many perk points into health early game as possible. Now, a few things to note. One. One is that my character's name is Roderick. Now, he is a Breton. However, in installing VR inverse kinematics uh, and getting all that to work, I had to install race menu as one of the required mods. And it changed my default race to Nord. So I have no idea what I actually look like right now. I don't know if it reset my character or anything else. But installing said character uh, mods changed my race to Nord. I don't know why, but it really it doesn't affect our gameplay too much. So we're just going to carry on. Uh, there's no sense going back and starting over from scratch. We're going to keep going as it is. It's a lesson learned. Don't change or add mods in the middle of a playthrough <laughs> anyway uh, what have you got for sale take a look at least everything else is working so let's see here how many of these can we sell Whew. money 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 come back anytime if you need a remedy of course thank you now Now we're off to see everybody's favorite Breton merchant. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right. Alright, so we sold our potions, and I also purchased a water skin. Now this is great uh, for keeping myself hydrated, it's basically a water bottle I can carry, or carry around with myself. Let's refill my water skin. There we go. I can get water from uh, melted snow, I can get water from the well here, as well as uh, from anyone I've befriended. Um, or on bandits who I might end up killing and uh, getting their water. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice I now have a common wolf skin cloak of resist magic. Now, this is going to help with my frost resistance uh, out in the cold, cold Skyrim. Now, I have yet to install, I have Frostfall installed, but I've yet to enable Frostfall in my current playthrough. Come night 
fall, I will turn it on and we will now be subject to the elements. So now let's go let the Jarl know about the dragon, and I need to speak to Farangar Secretfire about some spells I want to purchase from him now that we have the gold. Whoa. Easy now. Easy. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Who is this then? I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that yes. explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright. So, you were at Helgen? Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, well done. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You sought me out on your own initiative. Mm -hmm. You have done White Run a service. And I won't forget it. Here, take this Ooh, as a small token of my esteem. Some armor. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Sure thing. All right, let's see. Yes, we now have some nice armor. Steel armor. There we go, looking fresh. All right. <laughs> That'll help protect us. Far and guard. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Uh huh. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon's chamber. And bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right. What have we got for sale? So you wish to master the arcane arts? All right. So thanks to apocalypse magic, we're gonna have a lot of spells uh, available to us, and I won't have time to go over all of them. Uh, what I am going to want to look for, though, is a nice little spell called Okado's Recital. There it is. If you don't know, Okado is mentioned in uh, one of the Destruction skill books, if I recall. He uh, was instrumental in some sort of plot involving the uh, Mages Guild back in Cyrodiil, if I remember. But either way, we want Okado's Recital. We have more than enough money for that. And we want... Stone flesh. Now, stone flesh. We don't really have enough magic to cast that on our own. You know, if you. But the beauty of Akato's recital is that you don't have to have the magic. All right, bye guys. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay. So, the way Okato's recital works is here it is. Stores the beneficial, self-targeted, non-concentration spell in your left hand and casts it for no cost whenever you enter combat. Up to three spells. Empty your left hand to reset. So, I want this in my right hand. I want stone flesh in the other. So, here goes nothing. Spell one of three stored. Perfect. So, this is going to give us some extra survivability. We're going to need that if we're going to survive. What essentially is going to happen now is whenever I enter combat, I will auto cast stone flesh, which gives me an extra armor buff on top of what I'm already wearing. Very beneficial. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy more inside. So now we're going to want to get a little bit better gear. I don't claim to be the best. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let's see what she's got, first of all. Some steel boots and some steel Nordic gauntlets. Helmet, too. I have enough money for all this. Let's sell the things I'm currently rocking here. So, get rid of that. Good. Don't need some of this, actually. Let's get a follower, and I know just who to hire.
got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Of course. Well, hello. Blade, I know <clears throat> nothing of fear and nothing of remorse. Pay my fee, and together we will vanquish any foe. Consider yourself hired. If you have need of hunting, you have chosen wisely. Right Lead on, and I shall follow. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, so the destination is the Lady Stone, which is in one of the little islands in Lake Ilinalta here. Um, I'll figure out exactly where once we arrive. So now we walk the plains of Whiterun due south towards Falkreath. Now I could have went over the mountain and traveled by way of Riverwood, but what is the point when I have a brand new path ahead of me? More things to discover. Equip longbow. Come on. Okay, I'm a terrible, terrible shot. Take that. Onward. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly, and we won't have to get it rough. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going in. Now back off before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. What? Oh, you're right. We've made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Oof, that was almost trouble. a party going on over here. Whoa! Whoa! You seeing this? The thing is, I'm not really pro... Stormcloak or Empire, I'm pretty neutral. Don't you dare. Backing away slowly. Looks like the Stormcloaks won this one. It's a good thing we didn't then. Right? Alright. Let's head here for the night. Warm up by the fire here. I have a feeling we won't be welcome. Some evil power is at work in this place. Like that's what we need right now. Equip longbow. Sneak. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Damn, that's quite a sight.
Anybody here? Yep. Skeleton. Whoa! It's an ice trap. Okay. Did we get it? Equip longbow. Gotcha. Necromancer. Hi. Probably should have stuck with the sword and shield there. Whoa! Yes. Equip flames, right hand. I know a trap when I see one. As we walk these stone passages, we delve into the very bones of the earth. Something like that. Looks like we found the exit. South Brittle Shin Pass. Look where we are. Perfect. That looks like our destination. Hmm. Seems like a simple swim away. Let's give it a shot. Water is cool and refreshing. Here we are. The Lady Stone. Lunar Familiar. Those under the sign of the Lady have a spirit companion that appears in battle to fight for them. That's amazing! Premonition. They sense when an enemy is capable of a killing blow and may retaliate with decisive force. Let's accept the sign. Oh, yeah. 
And there we go. Oh, sorry. It may have looked frightening, but we're safe. So that makes four standing stones found. Four of thirteen. Feeling awfully sleepy. Let's build the tent. Ooh, careful. Out of the way. Ow. Now that, that's just ruining the immersion. Do you mind? All right, so we've built the tent. We couldn't build a campfire due to uh, destruction skill limitations, but we will have to train some of our destruction skill up when we reach the city of Falkreath in the morning. More on that next time. But for now, here we are in the shadow of the Lady Stone, our newest standing stone found. Under the beautiful Skyrim sky. Now we can camp out for the night. See you all next time.